Evening guys, so it's a weekly roundup. I'm full of cold, I'm not doing it live or anything, I'm just going to record it. Um, I'm hoping to do some weekly roundups live at some point, but not when I feel like I do. So I, I just want to get it over with, to be honest. I don't feel great, I want to get to bed. Right, so we're going to start with congratulations to Warcry Publishing. Completed the Sleeping Roof Challenge, raised money for the Bob Reed Foundation. And there you see the Paul Sykes t-shirts are out. And if you can get a bucket out with your logo put on it, I'd be sure to buy one to put into my bucket out collection. So, Warcry Publishing, check them. Right, let's move on. I've got a list, I've never made notes for YouTube before. I'll try not to waffle for too long, but you could just turn me off or skip me or listen to a bit and come back next time, like I have to do with some channels. Right, we started the week. Deck has had a heart attack. I believe it's a load of rubbish. It's the old saying, if there's no news, people will just make up news. So nobody knows what's going on with Decker. That's the truth. Um... I don't think he's had a heart attack. I mean, he's bad on benzos and drink like, and, you know, he could go into body shock and it could lead to that, but I don't think that's what's happened. Um, so there's nothing to say more on that. Now, I am going to talk, I have to mention channels who I don't talk about, as it's the weekly news, really, isn't it? It's, um, so Scott Shaggers reached 1K subs. Well done. Moving on, Joe and Marty had a beef this week. Joe Kid kind of believes everything people tell him quite often, doesn't he? And quite often he makes his son look a bit daft. So they started off beefing with each other the week as the week progressed. Joe Kid kissed us a little bit in a video, which to be fair, was a very nice video and I've gone from not liking your kid stuff to actually um, thinking he might be all right because as far as ass kissing goes, it was one of the nicest ass kiss videos I've ever seen. And him and Marty made up. Um, obviously, Exposure TV would have been behind the scenes there sorting that beef out as one sponsors him and the other's going on his panels and, you know, Marty pulls in views at the minute because people are loving to hate him, aren't they? If truth be known. Paddy Doherty accusing Rackpull of stalking, wants people to go to the police and this just shows what a grass Paddy is and always has been and Rackpull stalking, it's just ridiculous. Like, you know, like Dr. Rackpool would rather be getting pissed somewhere than actually stalking somebody. He likes a bit of fun on YouTube, but I don't think he'd put finances or time into actually stalking somebody. Ridiculous. Um, I've just realised I need to be a bit more careful with names, but that could be any paddy, couldn't it? There's loads of paddies. I could be talking about any Irish man, actually. Okay. Moving on. Scotty G made a video after being offline for quite some time and he just slagged all his fans off, showed how ungrateful he is and how he appreciates nothing. I've made a video on that. Um, if you want to check it out, it's not a very long one. I just thought I'd throw it in a, a weekly roundup. I'm struggling to read my notes. I've got terrible handwriting. Um not even notes, because just like headlines. I'm really struggling to read them. I should maybe um, print, uh, do it on my laptop when I could read them better. DC and Shadow had a beef. Um, Shadow's response, or second response, actually was really good, and I can't stand that person, but... How we worded it, really tore DC a new one, if you ask me. 
Um, but let's be honest, right? In different ways, they are both a risk to women, aren't they? One's being convicted for sexual offences. The other's got an extended, extensive criminal record for beating women up. They're both a significant risk, but in different ways. And, and Shadow's like un excusable, isn't he? And so's DC, do you know? So just leave them to it. They're both making money out of from adverts, arguing with each other. That's what it's all about for them. Even though DC reckons he doesn't ask for anything on YouTube, well, he doesn't, does he? But he sure makes videos when he wants a few extra coins. Moving on. Marty showed us that he can play pool. He put a live up. It was good fun. They kept playing Ice Baby in the bar he was in, which I found funny as my name's Ice Cold. And one viewer was getting a bit of sick of hearing it, but we had we had a good laugh in that live chat. And it, it's good. Marty's lives are good, guys. You, you need to stop hating on him and... Just join his lives. You don't have to like him. You can just join the community. Jock me. Doxing Exposure TV. Doxing is showing someone's identity, isn't it? So it's doxing. It's been a long-standing feud with them too. I don't actually know why. If someone wants to tell me why, feel free. I'd appreciate it. Um, I watch both channels. Um, I think Jockney's going a little bit too far and getting a bit stalkerish. He needs to chill out a bit. His channel this time last year was really good, really fun. He was doing his singing, um, doing some daft things and having a laugh. The obsession with Expo needs to end. And let's get the old Jockney back because I miss the old Jockney. Um, What else has happened, guys? Because I've lost a sheet of my notes. You know what I mean? I'm early days at this, aren't I? I'm not professional yet. I'm semi-professional as a newsreader. A lot more has gone on. Like I say, I've lost a full page, so... Um... Yeah, like, I'll have to, you know, talk about the dregs of YouTube if I'm doing a weekly roundup. and mention I'll call him JD Sports, made his debut on Exposure TV's panel. Um, the guy's a total fucking dickhead, but some people like him. He's just another one jumping on the Marty, Marty bandwagon, but he's just such a grass and horrible cunt. Um, I, I'll start watching more of his stuff, I guess, so I can tell tell you more of what's been going on in my roundup. Jimmy, G N E Jimmy, who we all love, was arguing on Tunes is live with Mermaid. They've had a long-standing beef. Um, great entertainment. I was li listening to it live. Um, wherever Jimmy goes, he's in some sort of argument. I actually really get on with him. Mermaid's okay. I've not interacted with her. Um, I can see how she upsets people and I'll just leave that one there. I don't see any sign of them two becoming friends. We no doubt will do, but not yet. Paddy Doherty. Sorry, not Paddy fucking Doherty. I always say Paddy. I always say the word Doherty instantly after Paddy. Because um, I actually really like Paddy Doherty. He's not included in my roundup. Okay, I'll word it as the man in the shed. Went after DC, about a year after DC went after him. He left it this long. I mean, he must be wanting to hit some views or something and went after DC. Said it's on site if he sees him. 
well, that'd be on 50% sight as he's only got one eye. But he's an old man, isn't he? What, what the fuck is he going to do? I mean, don't get me wrong, he'll have good connections to get someone done in, but saying it's on site in versus DC, and I don't like DC, but come on. he, You know what I mean? It, we saw what his mate um, Dougie did to a pensioner, so DC's going to have no problems doing the same, is he? Um, we'll just watch how that goes. I, I just think Christmas round corner, all these old beefs coming back. You know, some good views there, isn't it? Some extra money, you know. And and they're all wrong ones, aren't they? So I'm pretty sure that they're working together behind the scenes saying, let's get some money. Um, but they might not be. I actually don't like DC. I'm not a fan of his, but at all. But surely he knows better to get involved with the man in the shed. With his reputation. And I'll leave that there. This weekly roundup is not a good one. Because I am ill. Um, I'm going to have to get to bed early. Bit stuffy nose. And next week I'll actually write my notes. So I can read them. And make better notes. And not lose a page. One of my guinea pigs is here now. She thinks I'm talking to her. Hello, Mad Alice. Wait, wait. Say hello. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Okay, so that's my cue to go because Mad Alice wants me to put her to bed. She's after a supper. Cheers, guys. Tune in next week for more weekly roundups.